go back to school. Like, I really just, I have no desire to go back. I want to be in Toronto, but I don't want to have to do the schoolwork. That's my problem. Maybe if I could just, like, bring my mom with me to Toronto and then, like, bring all the books and not do any of the schoolwork, I would be a happy camper. But that can't happen because education is key. You like how I said that, Mom? I don't believe it, but I'll say it for you, girl. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my September TBR for 2016. I have a total of six books. It's probably, like, way overachieving. Some of these books that I'm choosing for the month of September are, like, really thick books, so where the logic in this is, I don't know, because we're going back to school in September, so realistically, Jay's not going to do a lot of reading for fun, but, you know, the logic of Jay never makes sense. We should all know this by now, so without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I'm hoping to read for the month of September is Winter by Marissa Meyer. I'm actually 640 pages in already, so I'm pretty much done the book. There's like 820 something pages. I'm obsessed with it. 100% my favorite in this series. This is the fourth book in the Lunar Chronicles. I don't know if Heartless is the fifth book or if it's like a spin-off series. Your girl has no idea. She's not in the loop. I'm sorry, but... I'm loving it. I'm gonna finish it probably tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But I'm very excited to be done with the Lunar Chronicles and I can officially say I'm done! Ah! The next book I'm hoping to read in September I talked about in my last Friday Reads video. But it didn't happen. But it is Burned by Ellen Hopkins and this book follows Peyton. Peyton? I don't know how to say her name. But she grew up in a very religious yet abusive family and her father finds her in a compromising position and sends her to live with her aunt out in the middle of nowhere and this is where she begins to question a lot of things that she was told to believe in. And it's told in verse like all Ellen Hopkins books. I'm obsessed with Ellen Hopkins lately so I'm very excited to get to this because you know your girl's probably gonna love it. Next is Monument 14 by Emmy LeBourne. And I actually got this book from Witty over at Witty Novels like two years ago from like this giveaway that she did. So I figured I should probably, you know, try to read it because it's been on my shelf for two years now. This book follows 14 kids who get trapped in its side of a superstore. Outside the superstore there's these disasters going on, but they're trapped inside and it's kind of like their safe haven. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews for this book. Some people hate it, some people love it, so I'm excited to see where where I fall on this little spectrum of hate love for this book. We'll see. The next book should come to no surprise because I was supposed to read it in the month of August and I just didn't. And it is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is the third and final book in the Infernal Devices trilogy and I'm so excited to see where the story leads because everybody knows I'm in love with Jen and Will and Tessa and just this whole world and I just I need to know where my babies go. I just need to know. The next book is City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. This is the fourth book in the Mortal Instruments series and I'm excited to finish the whole series this year. It's gonna happen. And hold me to it like 100% I'm going to finish the Mortal Instruments series so this is the next on the list and then fifth, sixth, and seventh books I'll probably read one October, November, December. That's the goal. We'll see how well that goes but Wish me luck, people. And the final book that I'm hoping to read for the month of September is Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is a lot of people's favorite Rainbow Rowell book. I recently read Eleanor and Park and I absolutely adored it. And a lot of people say that this one's even better, so we're gonna see my thoughts on it and I'm really hoping I like it. I tried to listen to the audiobook like last year and I just, I couldn't get into the narrator, so we're gonna see if I can read it manually and like it more. We'll see what we think. Alright guys, so that was my probably over-ambitious September TBR. We'll see how it goes in my wrap-up, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!